40,000, let's freaking go, send it, Cryptolution. Yesterday was big news, Javier Malay winning the presidency in Argentina, so much bullishness in the market. Now, is this all by intelligent design, Department of Justice, $4.3 billion fine going after Binance, going after Kraken? Why they always gotta rain on our parades when we're pumping, what is going on? Let's discuss it. This is breaking news just in. Here's the latest with CZ and the guilty plea. Let's break this mofo down, shall we? Starting right here, quoting CoffeeZilla, Binance CEO pled guilty to money laundering. Binance will pay $4.3 billion in fines per the Wall Street Journal. We're going to break down. Uh, this is the news story that just came in. I haven't even had a chance to scroll down and look at it. But first, let's start here with the breaking news of CZ pleading guilty. And then we'll discuss the indictments and all the latest in info that just came in from the DOJ. Here we go. CZ had reportedly agreed to step down as the CEO of his crypto exchange as the U.S. Department of Justice prepares to announce that it had secured a $4.3 billion settlement with the company, which means he probably is not going to face any jail time. Plea bargain means I'm going to give you all this money and you're going to give me what I want in return, which would be to stay out of jail, right? And to resign as the CEO of the company. So according to the Wall Street Journal, CZ and intends to plead guilty to several charges levied by the Department of Justice. He is scheduled to appear in a federal court in Seattle uh, today, November 21st. Well, here he's going to enter his plea, the journal said. The report also indicates he'll plead guilty to a criminal charge related to violating anti-money laundering statutes. Clearly, he don't want to end up like uh, Sam Bankman fried right? Now, although the deal would allow CZ to retain his majority stake in Binance, indicating he likely won't face jail time as part of the plea bargain, he won't be allowed to hold an executive position at the company. The Wall Street Journal reported that the plea deal won't affect the pending litigation with the US SEC, as it does not include a settlement for the case it brought against Binance back in June. So there will be additional money to be paid out. However, the Department of Justice settlement will resolve the company's issue with the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, as the reported $4.3 billion in settlements includes funds that will be applied to the CFTC's case and outstanding claims against the firm from the US Treasury Department. Crypto social had exploded with activity on the back of this news. Former pharmaceutical mogul and self-titled pharma bro Martin uh, Shkreli, who served four years on a seven-year sentence on fraud charges, weighed in on a seemingly joke that he'd put in a good word <laughs> for CZ. Although it's unlikely the former Binance CEO faces jail time as part of the plea deal. As you can see here, Martin Scarelli. Here you go again. CZ, jail. Ain't so bad. I'll put in a good word. Flacco and them. It's kind of like deja vu all over again with uh, Bankman Freed. And here's the latest story. This just actually came in right before I hit the live button. The federal court released the indictments against Binance and CEO CZ filed under seal on November 14th, in which the U.S. government said it expected the crypto exchange and CZ to enter the guilty pleas in the November 14th filings in the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Washington at Seattle. The U.S. government said it requested to file the indictments against Binance and CZ under seal as any potential plea deals with the exchange and CEO, as well as regulatory settlements, were likely to have a major effect on the company. It is customers as well as the global crypto markets which are experiencing that right now. Now, authorities charge CZ with one felony count for failure to maintain an effective anti-money laundering program at Binance, violating the Bank Secrecy Act. Quoting them here. On the day of the plea hearings, the government anticipates that the criminal resolutions with defendant CZ and defendant Binance will be announced simultaneously with significant civil resolutions by the Department of Justice, Office of Foreign Asset Control, the U.S. Department of Treasury Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, which is FinCEN, and the CFTC, according to the filing on the 14th. They also state, while Binance is not a publicly traded company, Binance is the largest crypto exchange in the world, and news related to CZ and Binance's criminal and civil liability is likely to have a significant effect on the trading of various cryptocurrencies, which we're seeing in the markets right now. They also say that crypto markets are volatile, subject to significant swings based on external events. Now, here, given the status that Binance and CZ have amongst participants uh, in the crypto and related markets, even the simple docketing of a federal criminal case against either would be itself have a significant market impact. Now, the government compared the potential volatility and the 
price of Binance Coin, which is BNB, to that of FTT token. And again, FTT is a top gainer on the day as Binance is experiencing this. Is that a coincidence, fam? Let me know your thoughts. Now, the former CEO, Sam Bankman-Fried, as we know, was indicted on federal, uh, several fraud charges. SBF was uh, subsequently found guilty on seven charges and currently awaits sentencing in March of this year. And according to the court records, lawyers representing Binance and CZ appeared in court for separate hearings scheduled on the morning of November 21st to discuss pleas and possible detention. Attorneys for CZ filed sealed motions concerning the Binance CEO's conditional release pending sentencing of the case, but the contents were not available at this time. A settlement for many of the criminal and civil cases against Binance and CZ in the U.S. is expected to be announced at 8 p.m. Eastern here today. Well, I don't know if it's Eastern, but it says 8 p.m. UTC. Now, um, also, uh, they're going to have to pay a $4.3 billion settlement. Good Lord, making it the seventh largest settlement in history of settlements. And it's currently unclear at this time if any a part of the announcement will concern Binance's pending civil case with the U.S. SEC, which has been ongoing. In June, the regulator filed 13 charges against the crypto exchange, Binance US, and CZ for security law violations. So there you have it. Now for another take. Did BlackRock take down Binance? This is a post that Altcoin Daily shared. There was an original tweet here by uh, Travis Kling dated back to June 16th earlier in this year. Here's what he wrote. Lots of chatter on this BlackRock Bitcoin ETF and rightfully so. BlackRock more or less is the right or I'm sorry, BlackRock is more or less is the U.S. government. They've also received an approval on 575 out of 576 ETF applications. The thing I'll say, there is no chance, and I mean zero, that this ETF is approved with Binance in the current position of market dominance. If this ETF is approved, Binance has either gone entirely or their role in price discovery is massively diminished. If Binance holds on to the current level of influence, there is no chance this ETF is approved. Well, there, you freaking have it. Now, here's some feedback on some of this, uh, you know, the content here in the thread. Why is this a surprise? When the big boys are ready, they are going to swoop down on Blackhawks and clap everybody. I've been saying this for three years. You do not go mainstream without the financial industry taking control. This is why I chose Ripple and why my investment is XRP guaranteed. Banks and governments do not lose ever. Well, so there you have it. And let's see what else we have here. Check this out. The $4.3 billion penalty imposed on Binance stands as the seventh highest financial fine ever recorded in history, with the record being Bank of America paying a whopping $30 billion fine, followed by JP Morgan Chase paying a $13 billion fine. And then it just goes on and on. BNB paid a $9 billion fine. Deutsche Bank, $7 billion. Goldman Sachs, $5 billion. Credit Suisse, $5 billion. And then you got CZ and Binance paying a whopping $4.3 billion. Now, what do you think they're likely to do with this money? They're just going to go after more exchanges and usher in more un unlawful regulation, in my humble opinion. But I'd love to know your thoughts in those comments. And uh, Whalewire shared here, Binance CEO CZ goes bust. Binance CEO CZ has just shamefully resigned today, pleading guilty to fraud and money laundering violations. His company will also be forced to pay a whopping $4.3 billion. And for years, he claimed anyone who criticized him or or his corrupt exchange are spreading FUD, but turns out it was truthful. And then they claim they have 480 plus tweets uh, and articles mentioning the fraudulent practices of Binance. We were attacked left and right by the maxi mob, but as usual, time proved us right again. So there you have it. My crypto fam, what's your thoughts on this breaking news surrounding CZ and Binance and their $4.3 billion fine? And how do you feel this will likely affect the crypto market? And do you think this is good news for BlackRock and their Bitcoin ETF paving the way for the approval by the SEC? Let me know your thoughts. I'll start reading them out loud. 